IBM Tivoli Storage Manager for ERP, Data Protection for MySAP. First, I will start the Administration Assistant. The Administration Assistant is a tool which comes with TSM for ERP and it allows to monitor all the backup and restore actions that are being performed using TSM for ERP. It's a web application, so you can run this from anywhere and connect to multiple instances of TSM for ERP. Let's perform the login here. It allows us to monitor operations, it allows us to view performance data, and it also allows us to configure TSM for ERP systems. So this is really a management tool for TSM for ERP for SAP backups that allows you to monitor and manage multiple instances of TSM for ERP remotely and to see the backup a progress and also includes some reporting functions. Now let's just kick off a backup. We'll do this by going to SAP's BR tools. SAP BR tools are the official backup interface for SAP databases on Oracle and this is fully supported and integrated with TSM for ERP. This tool allows us to do some instance management and it allows us to perform backups and restores, actually complete recoveries. Let's start a backup here. I select number four and then I select number one, which is a full database backup. We get some parameters here. So we can basically define how the backup has to be done. There are some defaults. One default is that it's an offline backup and I would like to change this. So I change this here from an offline to an online backup. So now the parameter has changed to online and I can go ahead and start my backup. There's one more parameter which is of importance here, which is this one, the beer backup command line. This basically points the beer tools or beer backup to TSM for ERP. So this is where TSM for ERP is being called and this is how both programs basically communicate. So this is a default here, so I accept this. It tells me again the options that are being used to start the backup and I can simply click on C for continue and the backup will start. Let me scroll up here real quick. And we can actually see that data protection for SAP R3, TSM for ERP, is being called and that the backup is currently running. Now let's real quick switch over to the administration assistant and look into the performance data. So we can monitor in real time that this backup is currently going on. So I select the SAP system ID and we can actually see that a backup is going on right now as I speak. We have two sessions here. It shows its disk network performance and how they're balanced. I can see my average transfer rate, I can see the, the progress, and down here I can even see the individual files, database files, as they're being backed up. So my backup has uh, finished, and we can see that there's a little backup coming right after afterwards. This is a control file backup. Now we can go to the historical history data and we can actually see what happened here. So even after the fact, after the backup took place, we can review it. And we can see that there were three backups. There was one full this morning, another one 
And the last one, this is the one we just performed. So we can click on review and we can actually see what happened here. So there was a data, fi data file backup and a control file backup. We can see the average uh, transmission rate. We can see a compression. We offer um, a variety of compression settings. One is a run length compression. And we can also see the messages and the errors if some would have occurred. And of course, the status of the overall backup. We can even drill down even further into this. And we can actually get a graphical display of the transfer rate and how it evolved over time. And we can see the utilization which is balanced in between disk related and network related. So this helps us to analyze where we have potential performance bottlenecks. We can change the time scale here as well. And one good feature is the replay run feature. So I can click on replay run and we can actually, again, after the fact, replay the actual database backup as it occurs. We can, of course, pause this and we can really see what happened at any given point in time during this backup. This, again, helps us to analyze potential bottlenecks. It gives us hints where we can improve our, our, our transfer rate. So in my case, you can see that I have a lot of a uh, network um, load here, which means that I might have to improve my network connectivity in order to get a higher transfer rate. I'm seeing transfer rates in between 10 and, and uh, 50 uh, gigabytes per hour. Really, in a real-time environment, you can easily go up to uh, 300 um gigabyte per hour. Okay, let's move back and see what the BR tools told us. And basically they told us that the backup has finished with a return code of zero. So I continue here and I can also drive an archive log backup from here. This is a basically a log backup. And I can perform this just in the same fashion as I did for a full database backup. Archive log backups are essential for a complete protection of SAP running on Oracle. This is now fairly fast. Yet again, I can go to the administration assistant and I can review this particular SAP system. If I would have more SAP system, they, systems, they would all be listed here. So I can review and by checking this box, display reader log archives, I can actually see that I reader log an archive log backup took place. I can review this of course as well. There were no errors and my average transmission rate is also displayed here. If I now go to another tab in here, which is monitor backup states, and I double click on my SAP SIT, I can see that this database is green if I would, for example, not have the logs, it would be yellow. Or if it could not connect or if something else would have lead to the fact that this database is not recoverable, it would be red. In my case, the database is a consistent backup state. I have those full backups available. I also have a read log backups here available as well, two of them. And it really shows me with a simple click whether this is recoverable or not. It shows me 
for each run, I can go through here and I can see what happened when it started, how many data were being processed, the throughput, 23 uh, gig per hour, compression was not set. I can see whether multiplexing was turned on. In my case, it was turned on. And I can also see the number of sessions. We can also see the backup of the control file and the backup of the catalog files. We can even click from here and take a look into the beer tools log. So we can right from here remotely connect and see what the SAP backup interface was telling us. It would also be possible for me to create a report here and to email this report automatically out to a system administrator. Okay, let's uh, switch gears now and try to perform a recovery. In order to do that, we have to take a quick look where the actual database is located. And the database, in my case, is located under the A10 directory in a folder which is A10. So we can see basically the database here and under SAP uh, data one, I can really find the database files. I want to delete a random file here, but before I do this, I want to shut down the database. I will use the beer backup tools to do that. So we'll start them back up. So we will choose number five here, which is restore and recovery. We want to perform a complete database recovery. Number one. And we can basically follow this guided recovery procedure right here. It will perform all the necessary steps to find out what happened. It will tell us that a database file is missing. It will then automatically restore this database file and it will then bring the database back online. It will also see all the logs here. So it is aware of this. And it also knows about the connection into TSM for ERP. So as you can see right here, it found the file, database file for restore, see Oracle A10, SAP data one, BTAP DB one, BTAP D dot data one. That is actually the file and it has been found and it is eligible for restore. Now TSM for ERP is being called and the file is automatically being restored. Now recovery has to be performed which means the file is back, but the database, the logs have to be applied to get the database back into a consistent state. This also works automatically right from here. And that worked perfectly. And the next step is to start and mount the database. We can actually select which logs to apply. I will just accept the default here, which means the last log is being applied. The logs are being applied right now. The media recovery completed. So the next step is to actually open the database and bring it back online.
Okay, starting and opening the database again. It was successful, so our restore and our recovery was absolutely successful here. Has been. You can also review these actions yet again in the administration assistant. So we can go to view history data, select the system ID, and now we can actually see that the restore has been performed here. And we can, of course, also review this session just as we have reviewed the backup sessions. Okay, let's close this now and check out another function that we provide with TSM for ERP. Now we are back in the command prompt and we will use a tool which comes with TSM for ERP which is called BackFM. This tool allows for a restore of your SAP database backup even if the BR tools are not available anymore. So this is really a tool that's a small, fairly small tool that can be used in case you have a total disaster and the SAP tools are not available anymore. So it's a standalone restore tool for your TSM for ERP backups. You can select on the left side which backup you would like to restore and you can then just simply mark all the files. You can also restore an individual database file if you're only missing one. And you can then restore by simply clicking PF2. I would like to use a special function here, which we have announced with version um, 6.1. And that is a redirected restore. That's PF7. And that allows us to take this backup and restore it to a totally different place on the disk with a totally different SID. So we basically allow to restore into a different system ID. So you can use this for cloning your SAP database. And this is simply done by simply entering a new SID here, like A21 in my case, and we can specify that the directories should be recreated which means that TSM for ERP will also cre recreate the complete directory structure. So this is really a complete cloning tool that allows for cloning of SAP databases. With this, thank you very much for your attention.